question 43 and this one took me the longest out of any question because I kept doing again and again and I couldn't do it and then I realized this is wrong. It can't start from rest and then decelerate, can it? So this is a printing error here. A car starts at a signpost. It doesn't start at rest. So I started then by, well, finally got that. I'm going to draw a, a graph for this one here, a velocity time graph. And it says we start here at 21 and then decelerate uniformly, so it's a straight line, down to 13. It's decelerating at a rate of 0.8 meters per second. So, so look, from there to there, it's going down 8. And so 8 divided by 0.8 is 10. Here to here, it takes 10 seconds to do that then. It then continues at this speed to do 520. So if it's going to do 520 meters, then this distance here times by the 13 that's that height there, times by 13 would give the 520. So the distance there to there is going to be 40. Then it decelerates uniformly to rest after 20 seconds. If it's decelerating uniformly for 20 seconds, look, the distance here is an area of a triangle. So here I've got a half times 13 times 20. So that bit there is going to be 130 metres in that part there. Let's read the questions. The total time taken then is 10, 40 and 20. The time is 70 seconds in total. The distance from A to B well, I've worked out that bit there is 130. This bit here is, we were given as 520. And here I've got a trapezium. So a half the sum of the parallel lines times the distance between them. So um, that makes, what's that halfway there? That's 30, that's 170 for that bit there, isn't it? So I've got 170, 130, and 520. And so the distance then is going to be 820 metres. Part B says sketch a displacement time graph. Um, well, we've just drawn a velocity time graph. We're going to do a displacement time graph this time. We know we've got interesting points, don't we? We know something's going to happen at 10 because something changes there. We know something's going to happen at 50 because it changes there. And we know something's going to happen at 70 there. And I suppose the easiest bit to think about is this part here. This part here, when it's going at a constant speed, if it's going at its constant speed, then the displacement it's going through will be going up at a constant rate as well. Whereas here, it's been slowing down. It's slowing down, um, so it would start going quite quick. But the displacement here is increasing quite quickly to begin with, and then it slows down to reach this rate here. So we need to go sort of steeper and then join up with this one here. And same sort of thing we're going with this one here. It starts with this one here, but then it needs to slow down and down and down and down until it's basically stopped. Uh, at this point here, you can see it's not going up anymore at all. That's because the displacement there. So these arcs are this way because it's slowing down. 